How is it going, everyone? And welcome back to a brand new video. Hope you had a fantastic Sunday. Welcome back to irate your teams. The cheap, fast, and reliable foot coins. Check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description and use the code Haber to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. Now, if you are new to irate your teams, let me give you guys a brief introduction to the series. This is the series where I check out your teams on the video, give you guys my personal feedback and you guys get feedback from the comments as well. Now, how to get involved in irate teams you may be asking. It's really simple. Send a HD screenshot from either an Elgato capture device or your console to me via Twitter. Now in the tweet, include a brief description of your team. How many coins have you got? Who's tradable? Who's untradable? Who is irreplaceable in your team? Have you got rival rewards coming? Do you have, do you know you're going to spend thief points? Do you know you're going to get coins? Anything and everything that you deem relevant, please let me know in the tweet and make sure to include the hashtag it's Haber so I can find your tweet on Twitter. That's what I do. I search in the hashtag and find your tweets. These videos are uploaded every single Sunday morning at 10am UK time. I'll be continuing uploading them every week during FIFA 20. And hopefully you guys can get involved. Now, before we check out your guys' team, I actually wanted to try and get some feedback on my team. Now, this year on my main account, my PlayStation account, I'm actually going to go with a Man United past and present team until I eventually give up going for it and I just go for a meta team. Hopefully that won't be for a while yet. But I wanted to get you guys feedback on my past and present Man United team. I know obviously a lot of these icons, uh, the actual cards I've got in the squad aren't for their time at Manchester United, but they just were Man United players at one point. Um, if you have any feedback, any suggestions, please let me know in the comments down below uh, and I'll definitely get onto it and uh, and let's get into your teams and rating your teams. Now this one's actually going to be quite a short episode because I think there's only like four entries into the episode i'm pretty sure um as well i mean i don't think anyone really knew that the series is going on but hopefully you guys enter for next week just make sure to send it in anytime this week you guys want uh we're going to start off with clerco's team though he says hi Haber, can you rate my team it is all untradeable i have ten thousand coins love the vids and congrats on the weight loss man you're the go hey i appreciate that man let's check it out so you're, you've got ten thousand coins to spend and this is the team you're going for now look at it first of all i think you might be lacking a little bit of pace just all around the team. Um, from what I've noticed that obviously pace is not the biggest factor, but it's a very big factor. And I've noticed you've got a lot of 60 to 70 pace and a lot of sort of low 80s on quite important areas. Now, Ricardo Pereira, I think is actually quite expensive right now. I'm not entirely sure how much Ricardo Pereira is going for, uh, but I think he's actually uh, a, a good chunk of coins. Yeah, 20,000 coins. I'd honestly look at going for someone like DeAndre Yedlin. Now, I know it's a big downgrade in terms of defensive abilities and physicals and things like that. But right now, at this current stage in the game, I actually think pace is more important than, for example, having someone with high defending. Uh, I think, you know, later down the line, you can spend the 20,000 coins on the right back spot. But for now, having 20K to invest into the rest of your team, I think would be quite important. Now, I'd say do the same with the left back. I'm not entirely sure how much Van Anholt is these days. Uh, I don't think he's ridiculously expensive. But yeah, another 2,000 coins, I would invest into your left back over at the cdm spot there's a few different options i'm liking the look of gabamin from everton um he looks like a really solid cdm for 3.7k 78 pay 78 defending 80 physical he's pretty op usually most years um at cam I actually think Mason Mount's pretty solid this year, so I'd probably stick with Mason Mount. Um, you can obviously stick with the strikers if you do enjoy the strikers. Personally, I would say keep Callum Wilson, maybe upgrade Jimenez to someone a bit faster. Again, um, it's a difficult one because at striker, I think it's slightly different. I've noticed that having good shooting stats makes a striker really, really good, whereas just having sheer pace, sometimes they get to the end and they can't finish their dinner. So maybe a, a faster and a slower striker probably works as a dynamic. And then over for the right center mid spot, um, I would maybe recommend someone like and on Bele. Uh, I know he's a little bit pricey, but you can use the coins you get from Ricardo Pereira on Endon Ballet. He's got four-star skills, uh, and he's actually pretty solid. He's got decent dribbling stats, decent passing stats. Um, you know, he's a little bit quicker than Naby Keita. I think that they might improve your team quite well, um, but I like the, the narrow formation. The 4 and 2 on 2 narrow is obviously really, really good. Uh, let me know how you get on with it. Um, in terms of the centre-backs, you can maybe upgrade John Stones uh, to maybe Davinson Sanchez. I don't know how much Davinson Sanchez is right now. I must check this. Never mind. Do not go Davinson Sanchez. I didn't realize he was 40k. I'm going and selling mine literally straight after the video. Um, maybe you could look around to shop and shop around for some, uh, you know, better center backs. I think Eric Bailly looks solid this year. Again, I don't know the prices of him. Um, as we are early doors in FIFA, I really don't know the price of center backs. 
by his 10k extincts. Brilliant. Um, but apart from that, though, I think Lacelso is really good. I think Mason Mount's actually pretty decent. He's actually uh, looked really good against me. Um, I think Soyuncu is pretty decent this year. Obviously, you've got a shadow on him. I do notice you do have pace cards, but I still think that going with a 90 pace center back, uh, sorry, 90 pace right back and saving 20,000 coins probably works a little bit better than having a, an 82 pace 20,000 coin right back. Um, the next one coming from Harris, who says, I'm waiting for sun to rise uh, so I can sell him. Any improvements with around 500,000 coins? Wow. Well, yeah, there's a lot of improvements for 500k. First of all, I'd replace Endon Ballet with Sizoko. Um, then I would probably replace Wambasaka. With, I like Rambasaka, do not get me wrong, but I would probably go with, I'm trying to think someone to get full chemistry here. Huh. Is it, I think that's maybe a difficult one. I would go, I mean, your center backs, don't get me wrong, are decent, but I would say Todibo uh, on the left, I'd replace him with Diego Carlos. In net, I would get Neto because Neto is actually really, really good. He's a solid uh, goalkeeper right now. And then through the middle, uh, I would say go with, Timo Werner up top. He's currently extinct at 200k, but I think you could snipe one. And I think he'll rise. And then at Cam, I'd go Kai Havertz. Um, again, he's extinct, uh, I think 85k. But again, I think he'll rise. Then over at the left CDM spot, uh, sorry, left center mid spot, I would get rid of Promes. And I'd go for, I forget this guy's name. I do need to quickly find him, actually. Um, he is a midfielder in the Eredivisie. Uh, Eredivisie, here we go. What is his name? Who am I looking for here? Uh, is he up at the top nearly? Where is he? Here we go. Martinez. What does he look like this year? Oh, never mind. I thought he had a better card than this. Yikes. Never mind. Hmm. That changes things a little bit. I actually thought he had a much better card than that. I don't know why I thought he had an 81 rate card this year. Um, that changes things a little bit. I'm trying to think if you can do better here. Because I think that... Hmm. Well, I suppose that obviously Fekir I don't think is a striker for you. I'm wondering a better option for here. You could probably go Richarlison up top and then Allen as your cam. And I think that would work really well as well as opposed to Werner and Havertz. Go with Allen, Cam, Richarlison, Striker. I mean, you've got 500k. You've got a lot to work with right now. And I'm sure you're going to find players that you really enjoy. But that would be my personal experience. Uh, sorry, my personal opinion. Definitely, I think that over on this right center mid spot, Sizoko would be an absolute gem. And I think that uh, upgrade, and I know Fakir is really good, but upgrading him to the likes of like a Richarlison, upgrading Coquelin to the likes of a, an Allen would be really good. And Diego Carlos is mental on this game. He's so, so good. Neto seems really OP as well. So that's what I would say for the defense. But the rest of it seems really, really solid. Really, really nice. Uh, GG on Son, by the way. Um, we've got Tommy's now all in, all tradable. Got 30,000 coins with things to sell. Thanks and keep up the great work. I got you, bro. Let's check it out. Ooh, this is interesting. Ribery. I like the look of Ribery this year. I think it looks really solid. Uh, this back line is fantastic. Um, Diallo's OP. Al uh, Atal's OP. Care is OP, Kamara is OP. With 30,000 coins, I don't know if you've got a whole lot of improvements to make here. What are we saying for uh, Inform Caputo? Is he around that that price mark? Um, for 11.5k, might not be a bad shout, to be fair. Really, really good stats. The only disappointing thing is the three-star skill moves, but he's got a four-star weak foot, 84 acceleration, 86 sprint speed. Um, I would probably say put a hawk on him, give him 90 pace, 89 shooting, and 74 physical. Improves his, uh, his physicals quite a lot as well. Um, and for 11,000 coins, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, might be an improvement there. Or even, what we're saying about Immobile, is he expensive this year? I feel like he might be a little bit. He's 10k over budget. If you can grind out another 10k, and then you can get an Immobile with the like, of a a hunter card on him he gets a 94 pace and 93 shooting this could be a phenomenal card i think he could work really really well i know he's not got the best agility and balance but he just looks like an absolute powerhouse this year and i think he could work really well on the team but apart from that this team is well built to be fair let me know how ribery is i'm actually interested because he seems pretty interesting this year and anyway the last team for the episode yeah four teams just today hopefully there's more for next week um we have got leo's team i've got fifty thousand coins and i don't know what to do any ideas bro Okay, let's have a quick look. So, um, Alwa could be a shout for Andre. I know Andre's a little bit more defensive, but I think Alwa could work in a pivot, especially with someone like uh, Renato, who's quite, um, quite, uh, quite a box to box, is what I want to say here. Um, I'd upgrade Zuma at your left center back spot. I would say Eric Bai is definitely the play there. 
I know it's going to get um, our war off chemistry, but I don't. I, I think it's probably smarter to play our war off chem. Oh, actually, gets Jonathan off chem as well. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out what the play is here is for you. Maybe scrapping Jonathan, Jonathan David, and going with the likes of. Hmm. This is a tough one. See, in my head, I'm thinking maybe change it to a four three three three. Then you're playing Promos as a CDM. You're playing, uh, obviously, you're going to change in game. But the the centre mid only has a link to the striker and then two dead links. And it won't cause too many problems. I'm thinking maybe you could do that. And then you could play Alex to share up top and Paulinho. And you'd probably get, I don't think you get a full chem on everyone. But I think Renato Sanchez and Paulinho would be off chem. But everyone else would be on full chem. And I think that could work really well. Apart from that, I mean, you've got really good foundations here. Neres and, and Martins as wingers is really good. Promise is solid. Renato is really, really good as well. And your backline, apart from Zuma, is solid as well. It's really, really good. Um, so there's not too many problems there. Uh, like I said, maybe buy for left centre-back spot. But apart from that, it is absolutely solid. But that's it for this episode. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below. Make sure to enter if you guys want to be featured. Um, I will check out, obviously, the HD screenshots if you guys can. Everyone will have the full game by next week. So, uh, you know, I, I understand if you don't want to waste your 10 hours by going and taking a screenshot and whatnot. But hopefully by next week when you've got the full game, you might want to. Uh, but I appreciate all the support and the love on the channel. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you later.